Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh and good morning everyone. Okay, so today for this video, I will explain. We do the discussion for the paper one section A, nilam set three. Okay, we go to first question, question number one. Okay, diagram one shows the relation between set A, set B, and set C. Given that the function f x equal to two x minus three and the composite function of g inverse at f x equal to five x plus b. Find the values of a and the values of b. Okay. Okay. So as we can see from this arrow diagram, which that um, when we substitute value five, which is the object, into the function f, and then we get the image of a. Okay, uh, jadi image kita bila kita masukkan uh, lima as an object, kita akan dapat A sebagai image. Okay, so lebih kurang macam ni lah. So, you masukkan F5 and you get A. So, from this part, when you substitute the value A as the object into the inverse function G, you will get uh, the image is 12. Okay, the image is 12. Okay, so we take the function of Fx is equal to 2x minus 3 and then we substitute with 5 uh, f5 is equal to a then when, when we substitute 5 and we get the value is equal to 7 so it means that here a is equal to 7 okay and then given that the composite function between uh, g inverse and then when we substitute fx we will get 5x minus plus b so what does it mean here is um, fx will be the inside function this one is the inside function okay so as you can see um, fx will be the inside function of this composite function okay so first thing you masukkan fx okay dapat tujuh lah lima dapat tujuh kat sini and then uh, g this one is fx so this part dia akan ambil fx tadi Masukkan ke dalam GX So 12 ni adalah sama dengan G inverse FX lah ha, Sama 12 Tapi dapat apa? 5 So maksudnya daripada sini Arrow daripada uh, FX ni Hingga ke the last image The last column in here uh, That is uh, G inverse FX So from this arrow diagram Okay We can put uh, The object 5 and then we will equate by 12 okay so we take the inverse the composite function so 5 x plus b and then we substitute 5 into x so 5 uh, times 5 plus b equal to 12 and then 25 plus b equal to 12 so then is b is equal to um, B is equal to negative 25 minus 12. So, eh, sorry. 25 minus 12. Apa ni? 12 tolak dengan 25. Okay. 12 minus 25. So, we get negative 30. So, that is the value of A and value of B. Okay. Okay, so we go to question number 2. Given that um, 2H negative 3K, which is the point. Um, 2h negative 3k which is the point is the solution solution of the simultaneous equation x minus 3y equal to 13 and 2 over x plus 9 over 2y plus 1 equal to 0 find the values of h and of k so we have two equation here which is x minus 3y equal to 13 that is the first equation this is the linear equation okay and then we have 2 over x plus 9 over 2y plus 1 equal to 0. Okay, so this is the second equation as the nonlinear. Okay, so given that, so you have to solve this to, to find the value of x and y. And then uh, you will equate to the uh, expression for 2h and negative 3k for y. So we get the value for h and the value of k. Okay, so this one is the linear function and then the nonlinear. 
So from 1, kita akan ambil ke, uh, usik linear function. Uh, sorry, linear equation sebagai subjek. Okay, uh, itu syarat dia untuk awak mudah bagi mudah untuk jawab soalan simultaneous. Okay, so from 1, we make x as a subject and then from 2, awak kena jadikan this uh, equation dalam keadaan yang mudah. So, I, I tukar dia lah. Tukar dia darab dengan x. Okay, I uh, multiply by x and then susun balik and then I get uh, 9x plus 2xy plus 4y equal to 0. Okay, so I assign this as the fourth equation. And then I uh, substitute um, 3, okay, into fourth equation. Okay, so masukkan x equal to 3y plus 13 ke dalam equation 4. So we rearrange and then we get the um, quadratic equation. Okay, we get the quadratic equation here, which is um, 6y square plus 57y plus 117 equal to 0. Okay, so um, kalau boleh uh, simplify, kita simplifykan dulu sebab bila you nak guna calculator to do the factorization, the calculator boleh baca uh, quadratic equation dalam keadaan paling mudah. Okay, so kalau you buat 2y tambah 13 dengan y tambah 3 as a factorization ni, bila you expand, you akan dapat this equation. Padahal equation you asal kat sini. So, apa-apa pun before you doing the factorization using calculator, simplify dulu. Simplify. So, I bahagikan dulu dengan 3. Okay. So, bahagikan dengan 3. So, dapat 2y square plus 19y plus 39 equal to 0. I then factorize and I've got uh, value for y is negative 13 over 2 and y equal to negative 3. Okay, so kita dah dapat value y, jadi kita akan ada dua value y and dua value x. So, bila ada dua value y and dua value x, kita juga akan ada dua value h dengan dua value k. So, first thing first, bila y, when y equal to negative 13 over 2, so dapatkan nilai x, which is dapatkan juga dapat negative 13 over 2. And then kita ikut balik dengan coordinates dia bagi tadi. 2H equal dengan negative 13 over 2 and we get H equal to 13 over 4. Okay, and then we go to the Y coordinates which is the value of Y is negative 13 over 2 and here is negative 3K. We equate this one and get K equal to 13 over 6. Okay, so next we go to the second uh, value for uh, value of Y. Okay, when y equal to 3, so we get x equal to 4. And then we substitute into the expression 2h for the value of for, uh, for the value of x. And we get the h is equal to 2. And we equate negative 3 uh, to the negative 3k. And then we get k equal to 1. So that is the answer for question number 2. So we get to question number 3. Okay, so solution by scale drawing is not accepted. So this is uh, for the topic coordinate geometry. Diagram 2 shows the straight line to x minus y plus 4 equal to 0. So this is a straight line with the equation 2x minus y plus 4 equal to 0. And then given that PQ to QR is 2 to 3. So this is the ratio for the line PQR. Find the coordinates of R. Okay, so since we have uh, the, chord, uh, the equation of straight line of PR, so we can get a point for P and Q. Okay, uh, so this is Y equal to 2X plus 4. And then the point Q, it lies on a Y Z, so X is equal to 0. So when X equal to 0, end up with, uh, kita akan dapat coordinates Y di dalam 4. Okay, awak masukkan lah. Uh, masukkan kosong lah. Uh, y sama dengan 2 kosong. So, dapatlah 4. So, untuk point P, dia berada di atas S, S, Z. So, dia lah X intercept. And then, bila berada di atas S, S, Z, Y coordinate dia akan jadi 0. So, kita masukkan point uh, kosong kepada coordinates Y. And then, 2X plus 4 here. You rearrange and then you get X equal to 
uh, 4 divided with negative 2 and then we get negative 2. So the point P is negative 2, 0. Okay, so uh, actually kita boleh gunakan formula um, points that divide into the line segment. Okay, so because given the ratio of PQR here, so we have here PQR and then the point P is negative to 0 and the point Q is 0, 4 and the point R is X, 2. Okay, so yang ni kita boleh guna formula uh, 2 to 3. Okay, so this 2 akan kali dengan this one and then this 3 akan darat dengan this one akan dapat 0.04. So kita akan kira one by one lah. Okay, so untuk point X, okay, um, 2 times with coordinate X here are plus with 3 times with negative 2 and then divide with M plus N, okay, 2 plus 3 which is 5 and then we equate with 0, okay, the point that divides into the like segment of the ratio, okay, so here we get to X equal to 5 here, so dapat um, 6, so X equal to 3, okay, and then the dapat X equal to 3, masukkan pula formula untuk Y, so y 2 times with y coordinates of r plus with 3 times with the y coordinates of p which is 0 and then we divide by 5 and we equate with 4 okay and then this one to y equal to 20 and we get y equal to 10 okay so therefore the point r is 3 10 okay that is question Kena says for question B, what is the equation of perpendicular bisector of PR? So, bila perpendicular bisector of PR, dia akan jadi betul-betul um, berada di tengah PR. Okay. And then, what happened to it is, uh, kita akan cari midpoint ni lah. So, dia akan, gradient dia akan 90 degree. Uh, okay. Perpendicular to um, PR. That is the line of perpendicular bisector. Okay. Dia akan bagi sama besar lah kiri dan kanan. Okay, so first thing first is you're going to buat ialah you're going to cari midpoint of PR. Okay, midpoint PR. So, kita akan dapatkan midpoint PR which is negative 2 plus 3. So, point R tadi ialah 3, 10. Okay, negative 2 plus 3 divided by 2 and then 0 plus 10 we divide by 2. So, the midpoint of PR is so equal to here is um, negative 1 over 2. Okay, and then 5. That is the midpoint of PR. And then uh, we have to calculate the median. Uh, sorry, the median. The, the gradient. Okay, the gradient of PR. Okay, gradient of PR. And PR times with um, uh, M uh, perpendicular. Though, perpendicular bisector. Okay. Uh, will be equal to negative 1. So, kita dah dapat tadi. Gradient of MPR. Gradient tadi. PR gradient dia ialah. 2. This is MPR which is equal to 2. Okay, so 2 times with M and then we get M for the bisector is equal to negative uh, 1 over 2. Okay, equal to negative 1 over 2. And then we get the gradient. We also have the point. So what else? Uh, what else? So we just substitute into the um, formula for the straight line. Uh, equation of straight line okay so y minus y1 equal to m x minus x1 so we have y here and then y1 is 5 from the point the midpoint just now and then m is negative 1 over 2 and then x minus with minus 1 over 2 okay and we rearrange this one we'll get y minus 5 and negative 1 over 2x plus, this one is plus 1 over 2 and then dapat negative 1 over 4 here. Okay, so we end up, we get y equal to. Okay, so tadi saya kesilapan kat sini. Should be the point is 1 over 2 here for the midpoint. So we just substitute for the value of x coordinates here is 1 over 2. And then we rearrange this one. We'll get the equation of straight line is y equal to negative 1 over 2x plus 1 over 4. Or you can make it uh, more simple. Make it as for y. Okay, I want to write 4 lah untuk semua terms dalam ni. So for y equal to negative 2x plus 21. Okay, that is for question number 3.
Okay, so we go to question number four. Uh, the quadratic function f x equal to 1 over 3, 2 h plus x minus 4 square, where h is a constant that has a minimum 0.56. To take the value of h, so the value of h is here. So how to um, calculate the value of h? So since this is the minimum 0.56, so, daripada bentuk ni, awak kena tukarkan dia dalam keadaan completing the square. Okay, so dalam keadaan completing the square, so this part is, okay, and then um, at, uh, y coordinates here is actually the minimum point, the minimum value, sorry. So, when we uh, arrange into completing the square form, the um, the last term here is actually the minimum value because this is the minimum point, so this is the minimum value. So we equate 2 over 3h dengan uh, 6. So we equate there, so h is equal to 9. Okay. So next question is uh, when f x equal to 0, state the type of root. Okay. So bila fx sama kosong, so kat sini, uh, awak kena expand dulu this equation, this function ok, dapatkan bentuk uh, equation of quadratic ok, so kita expand dulu one by one and then bila dia equate dengan zero uh, bila kita, that's why dia state perkataan equate dengan zero sebab kita nak tukar daripada function tu jadi equation ok, uh, ni asalnya function, so bila function, kalau awak simplify ni, tiga ni tak boleh naik ke atas tapi bila Okay, kita dah equatekan dengan 0, automatically this is the equation, okay? Equation, so bila equation, kita boleh simplify kan, so darapkan dengan 3 for each term. Eh, kalau function, awak darap dengan 3, okay? Uh, fx tu sekali akan jadi 3fx. Ha, itu beza function dengan uh, equation kat sini. Okay, so dapatkan loop general form of quadratic equation. Okay, and then. We take the value of a is 1, the value of b is negative 8, and the value of c is 34. And we substitute into the determinant, which is b square minus 4ac. So we take uh, b minus 4, and then 1, and then c 34. Okay, so we calculate 8, and then we get 64 minus 3, 64 times 34. So, uh, 136 here. I will get negative okay, negative 72. So means that when it goes to negative 72, so this determinant is less than 0. So when b square minus 4 is c less than 0, what happened to the roots? The root is no real roots. Okay, uh, no real roots.